Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is our Bali holiday. So we're going to start off with us being at the airport and we're just walking along just after we've got our luggage and we're looking for our name in amongst the sea of people picking other people up as well. Hi. 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 Okay. Thank you. Alright, so we're gonna keep walking through this little passage onwards and we're out onto the other side meeting our driver again. So he's gonna take our bags and he's gonna take us to Ubud, which is about I wanna say 70 Ks north. That might not be true, maybe it's only like 30 k's north of Bali. We're currently in the car and as you can see we're just rolling on slowly into the Bali traffic. This is our hotel at Champlong, actually it's Champlong, Champlong Sari Hotel. So we're just going to enter the hotel, it's amazing as you can see, you got um, fly nets just over the bed, I come in, some tea and coffee making facilities, it's very clean and it's a very nice place, it's um, serviced every day and they do the floors and the linen and all that stuff that hotels do. Uh, finally figured out how to turn that light on so you see the shower in the corner and then you will see myself waving hey guys <laughs> all right so this was the next morning where we see monkeys everywhere and these two are just fighting then we have some more tiny little monkeys it's so cute just following its papa around. Alright, so now we're going down towards the pool area. This hotel actually had two pools. Um, this is the first one and we discovered that it was much warmer than the other one. So we eventually just hung out in this pool rather than the other one on the top which you can see after this um, it's actually like an infinity pool. So we're just walking up towards the other pool at the moment. Uh, this hotel was actually quite reasonably priced. Um, it's in Ubud, it's on Monkey Forest Road. Check it out when you can. All right, next up, we went for a little walk up the street, and this is just the markets area. There's quite a few things that you can see that's being sold. Um, in this market. The great thing about this place compared to Kuda was that no one was actually coming up to me and trying to sell me things. Um, everything was just displayed so it was nice just being able to walk down the street without being harassed. Oh, this lady is amazing. Her balance and she has all that items on the top of her head and all the things she's carrying as well. Hats off to this lady. I was impressed.
so one of the days we decided to go on a little hike and these are the amazing drones that you will see footage of we have Adam here with his YouTube channel rolling as well we're all just waiting for lunch before the hike so on the way going to the hill it's quite amazing views at the top of the hill um, we then stopped at a small village just for some drinks um, grass paddy fields everywhere Turn me bloody goggles on follow this dude on ferocious ferret fpv you, uh, you will see the footage of the drones <laughs> There you are. <laughs> Home time, or so we thought. We're innocently walking into the airport, checking in, and then we find out that Mount Agung had actually erupted earlier that day, which meant that ashes were all in the sky cancelling all flights so unfortunately for us our 3 45 p.m flight on this thursday was then cancelled we there are a few flights that were flying but then we were put on to the next flight at 7 10 a.m the next morning unfortunately when we went to the airport the next morning all flights were then cancelled and the airport was closed till 7 p.m. that night. So what do you do when your flight gets cancelled? You go back to Legion and meet up with the rest of the crew and sit by the pool and have some drinks. It's a pretty amazing day, blue sky, sunny day. We then had Adam trying to fly his drone again, but unfortunately this time it may have crashed and literally burned. So his GoPro was smashed. Unfortunately, he actually lost all his footage. So that's the saddest bit of it all. You can see we are now back at the airport trying to get onto the next flight we were able to book ourselves on. Um, we booked ourselves onto a different airline which we are hoping will fly. Hey guys, so we're still now at the airport. Um, our flight was yesterday and then rescheduled to today and then now it's tomorrow. So we've booked ourselves on a separate flight with these two. So you got Adam, Brock. Samuel. It's a bit loud in here so I'll talk a bit closer but there's a lot of people and a lot of cancelled flights hopefully everything goes back on now we finally boarded our flight and to our surprise it's empty considering how many people are trying to get on a plane I am disappointed at how empty the plane actually was hey guys we touched down in Perth and it is quite early in the morning at the moment um, it's unfortunate but the flight was actually empty um, that was a bit weird our Air Asia flight still haven't left um, Denpasar but we booked ourselves on another flight which some of our friends were on so now I just look weird talking to myself, but 
I'll give you an update later.